Stranger Things season four has been delayed how many times? Twice, I think. I didn't even um, know it was delayed. Really? I thought it so, was just regular schedule. No, no, no. The the first trailer for Stranger Things four came out in twenty twenty. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I'm so confused and, because I've I've thought like the third one was the fourth one. And then because of time, like I've lost track of what Stranger Things we're on right now. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's super weird. Like, I, I don't know if we talked about this last time, but it's it feels like 2020 is still like a few months ago for me. 2021 is like non-existent. Um, it, it's it's, it's a, a blocked weird. Out of memory. Yeah, it's a weird feeling. I mean, 2020 was pretty bad too, right? But um yeah if i remember correctly uh, let's see the first stranger things trailer season four. Oh my goodness i yeah so stranger things four <laughs> the first teaser came out february 14th of 2020. that's right wasn't it about um what's the the comp guy right yeah it was just like a uh, sweeping shot of a landscape and then yes yeah that's oh right it's that long dude ago? that was two years ago Holy i'm pretty smoke. sure that was supposed to come out uh fall or christmas of 2020 but then pandemic and so what are we chaos. seeing now are we seeing them two years older or yeah two years behind did they start no. filming when the pandemic so yeah so as far as i understand so they had, um, I think they said they had about half of it was filmed already. And because they had to stop all production, they had to reshoot all of it. But I don't know because I, I keep seeing different sources, different articles and different like just friends and stuff like that talking about yeah. what they've heard. And so I don't, I don't know if we're going to see them like two years ago and then have a transition in the series like in the story of them yeah. getting older, kind of like, you know, two years later, three years later, whatever. Uh, but it's so interesting, like how all of these movies and shows have been so delayed and we've been waiting for them for so long it's and they're so finally weird. coming out. Like noticing different shows acknowledging COVID or not acknowledging COVID, you know, where they incorporate it into the story. I know like SVU, Law and Order did that. Some shows like even talk about COVID, uh, like Chicago Man, I think, and then the some show, some shows just don't even they just pretend it doesn't exist. Right. I'm guessing. I'm guessing Stranger Things for obviously because it takes place in the past, right? Right. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that. I'm like, well, it does take place in the past, but <laughs> um, but what do you think? Do you think uh, do you think we should have shows acknowledge the pandemic or do you think it's better for them to just pretend it didn't exist? Um, you have to acknowledge. I think it's one of those things where it's going to be a storyline or it's going to be mentioned in a show saying, oh, the pandemic of 2021 or 2020. But I okay. don't think there'd be any stories related. SVU was good because it talked about like the consequences of getting someone sick and then whose fault is it? Is it the person that got them sick if they died from getting COVID? All that stuff. Wait, which which show is this? Law and Order? Or, yeah, SVU. Special. SVU? Yeah. What does that stand for? Special Victims Unit. Oh, okay, sorry. I'm not familiar with Law and Order. So yeah, that's fine. <laughs> um, and see, I don't, I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like part of me wishes that that they didn't. But I don't know. It's it's bizarre because we watch movies and TV shows to pull away from reality for a moment. I feel like that's the purpose of the shows, right? And obviously, yeah, like there's documentaries and there's uh, uh, based on true events and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I feel like when it's appropriate, then sure. Yeah, I think it it's important to th that it exists, right? That it's... Um, in the storyline but at the same time i feel like if they're just doing it for the sake of making a statement 
that's when I'm like, uh, I mean, I, I don't know. I think you don't, I don't want to, because if you do that, then the movie becomes dated. It can either easily be dated. Yeah, there you go. Like that, uh, so. we watched, um, it's like Jake Gyllenhaal with, uh, it's like a, he's like a call center, um, like a 911 operator. It was like a small Netflix movie. But uh, mm. you can tell in the movie that everyone's like social distancing. Just kind of weird. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's weird. It's funny. I'll, uh, you'll have to let me know what, what it's called so I can check yeah. it out. But yeah, with, with Stranger Things, I don't, I mean, obviously they're not going to acknowledge the pandemic, but I do wonder if they'll acknowledge the time that has passed because in this trailer, they look old. Like the kids are older. And in the first trailer, they're still, I mean, it's two years ago, three years ago, if you consider like the, when they actually filmed. Yeah. And so it'll be, it'll be really interesting to see how the story evolves. I mean, they're all going through like puberty, right? So they have all these growth spurts that are probably happening. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, what do you think of the trailer? To, I'll be honest. I'm so tired of Stranger Things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're not the first one to say that. Uh, it, I feel I, like it's Stranger Things has become the new Saw. Like they're just making sequels. Like for the sake they'll of just sequels. keep it going. Yeah. Just for the sake of, because people like it, so it's like, well, do they just keep though? going? Do they like it? Well, I, I am not a big fan of season three. Season three, I don't remember a lot of of I what happened remember. there. Is that the mall one? Yeah, it's the mall okay. one, and it's strange because I feel like I like that aesthetic a lot. I mean. Our whole logo design is based on like neon signs, which is very like like mall and popular things back in the in the seventies and eighties and nineties, whatever. Um, but I feel like it. it, it well, how do you how do you say that? It's too much. That's too that. much of a good thing. Yeah. And. Uh, if they start stretching it, then yeah, it kind of loses the the uniqueness of it. But I feel like this trailer, I don't feel, I'm pretty sure it says it in it. I think it says like all things need to come to an end or something like that. <laughs> They're self-aware. That's good news. So it, well, that's what I'm saying is like, if this is like the last season, if they're like, okay, let's get it while we're still popular and still in good terms. Let's just end it in season four. Hmm. If they do that, perfect. And I hope they do a good job at it. Because otherwise, we're either going to get a, a sort of Walking Dead situation here. Oh, my. Because it, oh it's my. still going. Walking Dead is still going, dude. I know. <laughs> and I I can't. I, I used to love that show. And now I can't. I can't even, like, catch up to it. <laughs> I do have a rant about um, the, 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 the whole. They ruined the logo. For Stranger Things, once the second one came out, like if you there was this uh, this video documentary or this video on YouTube talking about how they made the logo for Stranger Things and how it's very reminiscent of like the old school title cards. They were literally called title cards because mm -hmm. they actually used cards, right? And they lit it from behind, so I think it was like the thing and. All these other movies that did the same thing and so they were able to replicate it to make it look like you know vintage okay. and so when the second trailer comes out or the second stranger things 2 they show the logo the exact like the way it was before mm -hmm. and then they show the this giant number two and then now like giant number three number four and it totally ruins the illusion you know Okay. Like how would right. the reason why the the first one worked so well because it looked like it was shot practically minus the, you know the animated lines that come out and stuff like that. Like I, I'm willing to like suspend my disbelief a little bit for that. But the moment they introduced right. the two and the three and four, it was like oh, the aesthetic is gone. Okay. It's no longer I, vintage. I I see I see what you mean. Um, it is a little kind of too much in your face, huh? Yeah. 
like oh, that's yeah. really interesting yeah so that's i was like that's why even going into number two and number three i was already like dreading it because the fact that they ruined the the second season poster or title card kind of shows you oh they're just doing it for the money <laughs> i mean they could have done it more creatively more subtly but no they wanted I, to slap the number two just to be oh yeah sequel whatever <laughs> i agree with that i mean honestly stranger things could have been an amazing show just with the one season i don't think they needed to extend it now with season yeah. two i i I mean, I still liked it. I, I enjoyed it. I, I like some of the twists that we got in it. Uh, character introduction. Like, it, it was good. And again, it could have just ended there and I would have been happy. Yeah. When season three came out, I'm like, okay, like, one time, cool. Second time, yeah, I can see that happening. But a third time, I'm like, is that really believable? You know, it's like, it, it like I said, too much of a good thing. Like, it's a good thing. Yeah. But when you have too much of it, it's like, okay, like, chill. Um, and so with season four, I mean, even in, in the trailer here, we see, uh, I think his name is Cooper. The the cop guy. Oh, I don't I think even that's know. his name. Uh, like, now the trailer has acknowledged that he's alive. And I think, I mean, we're supposed to get the hint anyway. But, it, I mean, leave some mystery to it. This is one of the reasons why I, like, started to dislike some trailers. Is they give too much mm -hmm. information. Um, That's what was great about season one. Because there was a lot of mystery. Yeah. The whole thing was a mystery. Yeah, we didn't know anything. Yeah. And it was great. It was so good. Yeah. Um, and so I'm just, like, I don't know. I, I like I said, I hope they end it. I, I hope... Um, I hope they learn from, from the last two years and the, the mistakes and everything that has been pointed out because Morbius definitely didn't do that. <laughs> Morbius is another movie that got delayed and mm. I feel like they just didn't care and they just left it and it's, it was really dumb and annoying. There was a lot of, um, like to to make a point like when i saw the stranger things 4 trailer and then you know that tombstone shows of uh what's her name the the redhead anyway oh. she's she's in front of the tombstone right of his of yeah. her brother yeah 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 and then i saw the name I was like oh my gosh her brother died wait <laughs> cuz i already I forgot that he dies in season Oh, three. right, right, right. But that's the thing. So that monster thing that we see is him. Eh? Right? Uh, I don't know. The boss. Because he was like... he was uh, The boss. He was that's like, what it made it look like. May, uh, yeah, no, no, no. I, I agree. I, I think I just... Uh, I've forgotten a lot as well. But yeah. I think I remember him being like... Possessed by the things by the demi gorgon um he sacrifices himself he sacrifice nah is that true maybe we <laughs> maybe we actually need to watch the show before oh, we, uh, yeah, we okay it. now i remember um he they get caught in the the cage thing right okay mm, yeah i think sure. he is the boss yep Okay, so yeah, I think it's him. He comes back and now he's a big bat. Ah, that's so weird. Like that, yeah. right? Not only that, but the whole haunted house thing. I was like, I'm getting some it vibes. So I'm like, they're yeah. trying to make a haunted house thing. And then you have uh, Hopper in Russia. Or oh, what looks Hopper. like Russia. Hopper, right? Yeah, Hopper. And I then, was thinking Cooper. And then I'm thinking, wait, I just saw him in Black Widow. Something. It's the same movie with the show. Well, oh my gosh, it's too many, too many themes that are like they're trying to just grab everything and then put it into into one Which show. It's, it's too similar to everything else. It kind of loses originality. Yeah, and that weird like guitar solo on top of the bus. Did you see that? Oh yeah, <laughs> I 
I don't. I don't know what that's about. I I, I kind of want to watch that right now. I, sorry for for people on on. Uh, actually, both of you, because I, I'm not gonna show this. I just want to look at I that. I guess real we quick. can explain. So there's a shot in the trailer where he's on top of what appears to be a bus in the upside down, and he's playing this sick guitar solo. Mm -hmm. as the lightning in the background's happening is that I mean, towards I, I think it's an, it's like a quick shot towards the end but i mean i think on paper it looked good they were like you know what they're in the underworld that's what rock is all about you know that would be a, such a sick moment in the show and then you see it in the trailer and like it's so cheesy Oh, I'm looking for it right now. But yeah, dude, everybody looks so old. <laughs> that too. That too. Okay. One of, one, of the yeah. f one of the funny things about this is that in, in season... Oh, there. Here it is. Here it is. Yeah, they're like having like a rock. Um, a rock concert. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's so, so funny. Um... I'm one of the funny things about this is that in season one, we have the sister and the boyfriend. And uh, we find out that the boyfriend is kind of a douche. And then they break up. And, and we're all happy about it, right? Season two comes around and then we show like, you know, he was just kind of misinterpreted and stuff like that. And we like him. I like him in season two. I'm like, yeah, good for him. But now in this season, the trailer, it seems like they might be getting back together. And I'm wondering, is this because the people really like him now? And so now it's like, oh, well, let's give him a second chance. Or or is this really like just kind of what they wanted to do anyway? I don't know. I, Dude, I'm sorry. I, I should look up their names and stuff like that. But It just uh, screams uh, focus groups again. Trying yeah. to find out what the whatever he wants everyone wants and then putting it into the show there there is such a fine line between doing the fan service and figuring out yeah. and doing exactly what people want versus original story um i, I like you both. know what i wouldn't be surprised if barb comes back <laughs> <laughs> barb dude totally oh forgot about gosh. it that's awesome but anyway, what do you guys think about uh, the trailer? Trailer 4 came out, what, two days ago? One day ago? Uh, I guess it's more like five days for you guys listening and, and you watching on YouTube. But let us know your thoughts on Stranger Things 4. Are you still watching it? Uh, are you excited for it? Are you, like, done with it? Do you Would you rather, you know, watch more reruns of New Girl or Friends? Or do you want to watch this? Or do you want something else? Let us know in the comment section below. Like down there. And while you're at it, hit that like button. Smash that button. Send it to the upside down. <laughs> Wait, that means that would be a dislike, so don't. Oh, smash it from the upside down. Yeah. 